let's continue to discuss the differences between the new version of Studio and Pinnacle Studio. The workflows are similar in Pinnacle Studio, and Pinnacle users will find migrating to this version of Studio easy, but the creative concept is different. On the timeline, there are limited tracks in Pinnacle Studio. There are between six and virtually unlimited tracks in Studio, depending on what version you're using. Pinnacle Studio has a single main track for concentric editing. You have multi-track editing in Studio for tremendous flexibility during the creative process. The tracks are layered from the bottom up, so a clip on the upper track plays over the clip on the lower track. You can now name and resize the tracks in Studio. All tracks now accept any recognized media. Just turn on the speaker or monitor button on the track. Pinnacle Studio always had the Snap 2 function turned on. You can now turn the magnet on or off easily in Studio. In Pinnacle Studio, you have to select the format you wish to work in, such as Standard Definition or High Definition, at the start of your project. If you wanted to change formats, you had to re-edit the entire project. Studio allows you to select the format anytime, and if needed, it will re-render your project automatically. This allows you to make powerful choices when deciding how your movie will be seen, whether it is on YouTube, an iPhone, or one of the many other output possibilities, Studio makes it easy. When previewing content in Pinnacle Studio, you must choose either from the album or the timeline, which can interrupt the creative process. In the new Studio Player window, you have your choice of quickly choosing either the source or timeline view. This works with any element, including audio. Studio Premium versions have a convenient jog shuttle wheel to carefully scan through your source or timeline forward and reverse. Also in the Premium versions, using your source window, you can mark in and out points and then drag your shortened clip from the preview to the selected track at the playhead position. This makes finding and selecting critical edit points easy. Instead of having to open the Pinnacle Studio Toolbox for audio and video tools, Studio locates VoiceOver, Snapshot, Trim, and Smart Tools conveniently at the top of the timeline. If you are using one of the premium versions of Studio, you can even customize the toolbar to show only the tools you use. Use the Trim Editor for powerful trimming over multiple tracks. In Pinnacle Studio, you captured a still frame from your timeline using the Frame Grab tool. In Studio, you take a snapshot using the Camera tool on the toolbar. In Pinnacle Studio, you access Picture-in-Picture -picture and Chroma Key effects from the toolbox. Now, all the effects you need are in the Effects Editor. Simply double-click on a clip in the timeline to access these powerful tools. The Audio Mixer is located on the Studio Timeline for quick access. Scorefitter is now also accessed from the timeline. And of course, stereoscopic 3D workflows are now fully integrated into Studio. We hope you enjoy all the new tools you have at your fingertips with the new version of Studio. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class On Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Pinnacle Studio 16. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with award-winning Pinnacle technology trusted by millions of users worldwide, then order your copy of Class on Demand's complete training for Pinnacle Studio 16 on the Pinnacle website. On behalf of Pinnacle and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.